Hey guys, I wanted to share with you a couple fun ways you could create your own golden plates for the Books in the Book of Mormon song. Now, um, to start off, I just wanted to share with you a little tip, something that I did last year. Last year, I created a big scroll for the books in the New Testament, and we would sing songs as kids come into primary, which I've done for a while, but always the last song before they would come in would be the books of the New Testament. And I never took time during singing time to teach it. I would just open my scroll and point to the books and we would sing it and easily a few months into the year, all of them had it. And it was also a great signal to the kids as well as the primary presidency that I was ready to um, start singing time. Because sometimes presidencies can get wrapped up in what they're doing and you can tell everyone's ready. And so it was a great, they'd hear the song and they'd be like, oh, she's ready too. Okay, let's go. Or I might look at them and be like, are you ready? Okay, we'll sing this song next. Anyway, so it's a great way to transition and to get the kids to focus. Um, so I created two. A few years ago, I filled in for a chorister and I created this one. So it's just gold pieces of paper. I think I found them at like the craft store and I put pictures of each of the prophets or some of the prophets that are being mentioned, as well as scriptures that I could read with the kids, just a little favorite scripture in one of the passages. And then I use just these little book rings to kind of connect it. So I'll show you this version and then I'll show you my newest version. So it just goes, first and second books of Nephi, Jacob, Enos, Jerem, Omni, Words of Mormon, and Mosiah in the Book of Mormon. Alma, Helaman, oh, this one used to spin a lot. Third and fourth Nephi, Mormon, Ether, and Moroni. Learn the teachings of the prophets in the Book of Mormon. So this one's super easy to create, does not cost a lot of money, super fun. And like I said, you could just find little pictures from the church website of the different stories. And you could see, I mean, if you wanted, you could go first and second books of Nephi, you know, and you could switch for each one if you wanted. So the possibilities are endless with this style. Um, this is the one now that my husband created for me. He went and got, it was a little pricey, but you know, it's fun for primary. <laughs> He went and got a sheet from Home Depot of this metal and then he cut it for me. So it goes like this, similar, but just the words. So um, first and second books of Nephi, Jacob, Enos, Jerem, Omni, words of Mormon and Mosiah in the book of Mormon, Alma, Helaman, third, fourth Nephi, Mormon, Ether, and Morona learn the teachings of the prophets in the Book of Mormon. So you can see it's a little giant, but the kids were so surprised the first week that I pulled it out. I actually pulled it out on January 31st. I did our New Testament scroll, and then I was like, oh no, look what I found. And so that's what we're singing it with this year. So you could create, there are so many different ways, but I just wanted to share this simple short video to show you that um, these songs can be really great and you don't even have to take time from singing time if you don't want to, to just get the kids learning the orders of the scripture. So as they're thumbing through them at home, they can find what they're looking for. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.